Uh, this is the aircraft. I do have spotlights on the bottom boosters, but not the top because it, I felt like it was redundant to put it on both. Anyways, moving on to kind of why I built it and then also what it aims to accomplish. As you can tell by the name up here, it is supposed to be a rapid interceptor, i.e. rapid deployment and then also um, able to outpace damn near anything. And quite frankly, it do. I think there's only one or two planes that I built that can fly as fast as this, much less having the maneuverability that this plane does have. And it's not the most maneuverable as an F-16, but it's pretty damn maneuverable, but, which is honestly surprising. So in order to allow it to take off rapidly, it does have four solid state boosters that take its takeoff time from, I believe, like 40 seconds or so, down to roughly 20 seconds. So roughly half the takeoff time, and then you can also dump these, like given the ejectors, which you saw in the third strap portion. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop calling it that because it's kind of cringe. Anyways, but peeling that back so that we can look at more of the aircraft, uh, you'll notice that it's got a bunch of like very small engine pods that have just like the very basic Juno, um, small little bit, and then whatever. Uh, there's a reason for those, and that's because I wanted it to have a more fuel efficient mode. Um, because if I had it just like this, sure, it could technically go faster. But A, the um, heat would start burning stuff up anyways, and then also, this engine is a fucking fuel guzzler. If I was going to have this be on like a patrol, I would want it to take up so much fuel because, you know, fuel is money. And although there's definitely no like actual military base strategy for KSP, it's designed to be an interceptor. So I felt like having to have a more fuel efficient like cruise mode uh, made a lot of sense. And that's kind of what these um, engine pods provide. And so let me remove this set real quick to reveal some drag chutes. There's also drag chutes on the bottom, uh, but they're a bit um, more annoying to uncover. And the reason I did that is because this plane can reach up to 1300 meters per second at any given time, especially in a straight line. So if you're making an approach pretty fast, like honestly, I've done an approach at runway at about a thousand meters per second at sea level and these air brakes that i have back here aren't enough also for the record only the top and bottom one deploy these other shorts help with the yaw because at high speeds the yaw doing just by the rudders isn't very good also i do have a dual rudder system and i still had to implement air brakes after doing testing just because it wasn't good enough having said it is running a canard system the front is responsible for the roll and the back's responsible for the pitch. I have it all isolated so that way it was much more easy to figure out what was going wrong with the aircraft when I was designing it. And then also, quite frankly, that way um, it's easier to see the function of the aircraft. Uh, that being said, that's pretty much it. Each of the you know things has their little inlet. I have an inlet here. And then you have the cockpit with some uh, fuel and the landing gear, obviously. Um, beyond that, that's it. Um, it's a pretty good little aircraft. It's very nimble and maneuverable. It's called an interceptor because that's kind of its design function. Uh, that being said, that is it for the aircraft. It's a very simple aircraft to fly, very easy aircraft to fly, and it's a very fast aircraft all the way around. It can reach orbit if you do fly it right. Um, although I will say it is very difficult. You have to do like three different attempts before you can finally seesaw enough speed to get into orbit. Um, and then when you do get into orbit, obviously there's no coming down because there's no air and space to feed any of the engines. So you're pretty well fucked. Uh, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do appreciate the support. 
And uh, this is my take on what a rapid, or let me actually reload it real quick. This is my take on what a rapid interceptor is and should look like for Kerbal Space Program. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment down below letting me know. And uh, if you have any suggestions for any future builds, let's say a bomber or just a multi-role fighter, stuff like that that I could build in Kerbal, um, leave that in the comments. I, I think it'd be very interesting to see what you guys want to see. Uh, beyond that, you have a great rest of your day, 